What's up guys, John Sendez here at Cutter Nation. Don't forget, throw hard. In this video, I'm gonna go on how to work on your two seam and get more movement. Okay, so had a bunch of requests for this video. Just wanna throw some stuff out there. So your two seam fastball, the reason they call it two seam fastball is when you let it go, you release it, these two seams pass through in front, thus the awkward shape of the ball gives more movement to where we're going. Now, when I was in college, I threw it, I'd really get on top of it and pull down, you know, everybody say throw it like your fastball. That's not exactly true. If you get on top of it and you pull it, that's why it doesn't move, okay? So you see these lines right here, uh, these two top lines right here, if they're perfectly on top of the baseball, you're not going to get a lot of movement. There's not, unless there's some kind of wind or anything, you're not going to get a lot. Guys who throw really good two-seam fastballs, uh, Tanaka, Kubler, Bauer, Maddox, a lot of them, when their hand's coming through, their hand is actually this way. So if you had like a match on top of your hand, your fingertips would be kind of pointing towards second, like about two o'clock right here. So guys who throw really good two seams don't really come over the top very much right here. Their, their wrist, you see their fingertips, their wrist and their elbow are in line when they're pulling. So you can actually see Kubler and Bauer and Tanaka are about right here. Some people call this sidearm or three quarters, but really what they're trying to do is when they get here, they're trying to pull on those seams to have them pull this way. Now if you see the rotation of the ball right there when you're doing it, that's what's gonna get it doing. So a great way to practice this is when you long toss, long toss and try to get that wrist angle to match right there. Now you can still get on top of the ball and be over here, but you've gotta pull across this way in order to get the ball to move, okay? So just being right in the middle right there, this is one of the grips, okay? One of the other grips that I like to do, if personally, because I'm a little bit higher on my release point, is I like to get my index finger in the middle of the ball and then my birdie finger on the outside of that seam. That way it comes off that my birdie finger first and it's getting kind of an awkward spin. You can see when it gets off and then the spin's gonna be going this way if you can see how that's going when I'm throwing it. Okay, one other of the versions that I've seen guys do is they come up with their index on top of the ball right here. So the birdie finger still is gonna be the last thing that comes off the ball. When they throw it and their hand comes off, you guys can see that. When it comes off like this, you can see how it rolls off your fingers that way. So really what you're trying to do is you're trying to stay on behind the baseball but try to get the seams to go like that. Okay, so that's something in practice. Also, you have the one seam, which is probably one of the hardest ones to throw, and it's an actual sinker, okay? So if you throw a, a one seam right, there should actually be a one seam line. If you see that big line right here, there should be a line that comes straight through that right there. Oh, there we go. You can see how it kind of almost lines up. See when it goes fast? So when you throw it away from you to your partner, you should be able to see a line going away from it behind it. That should tell you if you're throwing it right. Now obviously, same thing. If you're throwing it and the line is on top of the ball right there, then you're not doing it right. You need to be the line to be at that angle right there to throw it. So practice that. Like I said, I like to long toss with it. Plus it's fun to see it move and work on it. Then after you long toss, come in. I do shuffle fires worth it when I'm really trying to feel myself max effort throw it to go from there. Now, if you got any questions for me, comment in the description of the video. Also, you can send me a message on Instagram. Uh, check out my online store, get yourself your J-bands, your weighted balls, your flush bands, also my apparel on here. Gonna have to order more hats, fresh sold out of hats on there. Anything else you need, just let me know. Don't forget, throw hard, let it fly, keep working hard every day.